podcast of hey. our history. Football in the Dark. We finally got it. We're done. We cleared all allegations. We're ready to start today. Our first episode. So we're going to go through. We're going to play a game of Madden while we talk about this stuff. But it's not going to be a very competitive game. Because um, it's no, just, it's just for playing. background. It's just it's just for background. So, well, yeah. Background. Um, I think we're going to start it off. We're going to go. Um, we're going to start it off. Hold on. We have a list. Yeah, we do have a list. Um, okay, we'll start yeah, it off. Fuck the list. Fuck the list. Y'all see that Tennessee Alabama game? That, that game was pretty interesting. I, I'm not going to lie. Hendon Hooker had an amazing game. So did Bryce Young. It was a battle of who was going to score last. That was that was an offensive shootout. Rocky Top. But you all also see that George again. They proved their dominant once again. 55-0. to zero. And Vanderbilt looked good last week. They did look very good last week. I don't think Old Miss is a top ten team. I don't know. I really don't. Old Miss. The only reason they're top ten is they beat an overrated Kentucky. If they don't beat that overrated Kentucky team, I never run Bills Color Rush. We'll rock Bills Color Rush. All right. Let me make sure the audio is working real quick, guys. Yeah. Make sure. Double check. Double check. Bum, 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 bum. Ba, da, 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 ba, da. All right, guys, we're about to load into the Madden game. Okay, uh, can you hear my voice? All right, we're about to. Yes, we, everything's everything's good. Everything's Everything's good? Hello? Well, you just completely broke. Oh, you muted. You muted. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello, bro? Hey. Alright, alright, we'll be back. We'll be back. Alright. Let's start it off with the first question. Will the Giants make the playoffs? I think they're a very competitive team that has a chance to make the playoffs. That's not the number one question, but sure. I don't think the Giants are going to make the playoffs. I think that they are overrated and their division sucks. No, no, hold on. Their division sucks so much that the Jags, this division is like that 2020 NFC East division. Yes, like the NFC, East. NFC East is the best team, the best division in the team so far this year. They look really, they yeah, their three teams have looked very good so far. Insane team, I honestly. Mean, I still think the Eagles, the Eagles are so overrated. They have not played a single talented team. Do they have very, the very good roster? Yes. Do they beat a very good Minnesota Vikings team? Yes. Name one other competitive game they've had. They can't. So I think if they beat the Cowboys, I'll shut my ass up. If they don't, that's such a stupid goal. Anyway, if they don't, then Cooper Rush is their fucking papa, okay? I love Cooper Rush. Cooper Rush is an amazing, amazing backup quarterback for the Cowboys. I, there, I have been said before that there's going to be a QB controversy. What do you have to think, say about that? I think there should be. I think Cooper Rush deserves that starting job after how he's performed. I don't know what I was doing with my users. You're shitting me! <laughs> Alright, guys. We're going to try not to make anything about the game because it's not a competitive game. It's just for background right now. Are the Bills okay. overrated? No. Let's think about it. Who have they played, really? Honestly. That is a throw. That That's exactly... <laughs> Who are you playing, my man? That's how they respond. Oh, no, no, I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyways, so, I mean, I don't know. They do have a lot of good players. I mean, they had a Stephon tough loss Beggs. to the Dolphins team, but that Dolphins team is very talented. They are very well coached. They are very well talented. I mean, are the Dolphins, can the Dolphins still make the playoffs? Because Tua's going to be oh. back. Tua's going to be back. Tua is good. That concussion did absolutely nothing to him. It was just that fuck. He, his hand got crippled up, and everyone overreacted. That's how I feel about it. Yeah, I feel um, like I, he, I feel like he's gonna come back and ball. And if he doesn't, that's gonna be very embarrassing. He is gonna come back. The Dolphins are going to be big in the playoffs. They will not win the division, but they are going to make the playoffs. So yeah, that's about it. Top twenty-five. So, what do you think the top uh, twenty-five is gonna be? Okay, we have a podcast idea. Hold on. List is go down the list. Best oh, player okay. on each current best player. On each SEC team, SEC team. All right, Georgia Brock Bowers, Ooh. um, Alabama Bryce Young, 
Um, okay. Alabama Bison. Okay. Uh, Tennessee Hendon Hooker. Um. Ah, okay. oh, dang. I don't really know about Kentucky. I don't follow Kentucky that much. Let you go first, and I'm gonna say mine. And then, uh, maybe Will Levis, because I I don't know if he hasn't been that good, but remember he had a lot of preseason hype. So, and that's a pick. That's a pretty bad pick. Anyways, uh, <laughs> hang on. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll go. Uh, for the for Georgia, Kiar Ulam. He's played. He's had such a great year. He doesn't have a whole bunch of stats because he's just been locked down. Like he hasn't done. Like he doesn't have crazy interceptions. He doesn't have crazy tackles. He doesn't have a forced fumble. But he's just playing locked down cornerback. Brock Bowers is very good, but he's on the decline. He had a very good game against Oregon, and since then he's been locked down. I love Brock Bowers. I still do, but he's gotta like. He's got to have a big game. And they're locking him down. He is having big games, and just not in the statistical way. All right, I'm going to have to go with Brock Bowers. Brock Bowers for Georgia. Hendon Hooker, Tennessee. Um, Will Levis for Kentucky. Hold on, hold on. I agree with... I've taken Kiari one for Georgia. I agree with you for Tennessee. Or maybe that wide receiver. I completely forgot his name, though. That guy was so good. But I'm taking Hendon Hooker. Um, And then... I'm going with, you know what, you know what, I'm going to say Chris Rodriguez for Kentucky, actually, because he has been a pretty I good running back this year. I really like that pick. I, w- uh, I mean, I really like that pick. Chris Rodriguez has looked a whole lot better than Will Levis has. For, um, okay, okay. Anthony Richardson for Florida Gators. Uh, obviously, you spent. see that D tackle? His their D tackle you sent me a photo of him. Get <laughs> his ass. He's done. He's been fucking insane. Like the Floridian Jordan Davis. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Spencer Rattler for South Carolina. South Carolina is not oh, no. the best. Player. South Carolina. South Carolina's best player is their goddamn punter. Okay, let's be real here. He's doing the most. <laughs> he's he's on the field. But yeah, we'll go time. Spencer Rattler. I don't hate that pick. All right, Missouri Tigers. Um, that five-star uh, receiver has been very good. They're, uh, they're, Burden, I'm gonna go, Burden. I don't know me, their names. I don't know their names, but I'm going to go with their defensive ends. Their I'm defensive go, ends have... Yeah, they have... They, oh, they're actually a sleeper team. Not to win the East. I think Georgia's going to win yeah, the they're East. Not or Tennessee. The Tennessee has a decent chance. I'm legitimately scared oh of Tennessee as a Georgia fan. I, as soon as I start stop celebrating about them winning, I just fucking flipped out. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, everyone expects so, us to lose. I think the spread will be in favor of George that game, though. So, you know I think what? we'll definitely be. I think fans will definitely root for Tennessee because why would they? Oh my God, you're shitting me. I that just... was actually a pretty nice game. Anyways, um, yeah. All right, Vanderbilt. I'm gonna go with their linebacker and free. Mm, I can't pronounce Okay, his last okay, name. we're done. We don't even know the rest of these teams. We're just fucking googling. <laughs> Whatever guy has the most stats, we're going with at this point. You, I, I, yeah, we're probably, we're probably, we're probably, yeah. What about best okay. players in the college? Best players in college football right now, like top ten. Top ten players in college football. Give me or by okay, position, by position, by position. By position, quarterback, CJ Stroud. I don't, I don't know about that. So the, the Ohio State hasn't played anyone. I'm legitimately thinking Hendon Hooker for this one. He has Hidden a top Hooker QBR, and he's two. played amazing, Hidden, Hidden Hooker amazing. is my number two. And I'm legitimately scared of him, because Georgia's, um, fucking... Hendon Hooker's my number two. I'm getting shit on him right now. Anyways, yeah. Hendon Hooker, I'm gonna have to go with him number one. Because he has played amazing. His QBR is I amazing. I really don't hate it that. Took, it, took him, the, it took today, him until they played Alabama. Definitely... It's for him to get his first pick. I'm gonna keep going for CJ Stroud. He's just had an amazing, amazing year. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. All right, will the Giants make the playoffs? Hold on, hold on. Okay, no, we're not done. We still have to do every other. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, I, I, yeah. My fault, okay. my fault, bro. Except the offensive linemen, because we nobody knows offensive linemen. I'm an offensive lineman myself. No one knows the name of offensive <laughs> linemen, except NFL offensive linemen. Let's Andrew really Thomas. Here. I'm just gonna say I know how Andrew it Tom- is. <laughs> I know Andrew Thomas. Zach He's Martin. Yeah, I know NFL offensive linemen. Lyle Collins. Uh, Andrew Mack. <laughs> okay, the name, the so most popular running back in college football. Running back, give me Blake Corum. I took 
She I, I actually it has been a beast so far. I'm gonna go with him. Yeah, I like that one. Like going. Uh, Twenty one so, yeah, skunk. Blake Horm. We'll take we'll take Blake Horm. Our receiver. That dude out of Tennessee. I mean, god damn. We're not counting this as one of the games like for our like like record. No, no, right? no, no, no. You're good. You're good. Right, Cause I'm gonna get embarrassed. That I'm barely paying attention. I'm just, I'm just reading off the list right now. I'm barely paying attention. Anyways, so I'm back gonna receive out in Tennessee. I don't even know his name, but hated, <laughs> as, as already, that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Anyways, anyways, <laughs> what about wide receiver? That is. Uh, uh, you been that receiver out of Tennessee. He just performed last night. Yeah, well, last night, though. All right, tight end. It's obvious. Brock Bowers. Brock I don't Bowers, know who yes. else you could put over him. Offensive lineman. I don't Let's move on to defense. Cornerback? Cornerback? Oh, he already him. He yeah. looks so good. He's been just locked down. Middle linebacker? Oh. I just... The, not Nicole Dean. Who's that other guy? Oh no! <sighs> oh no! <laughs> Who's that middle linebacker that's still playing for Georgia? Very talented. Um, I don't know why I don't know this. What about D tackle? Bo. Uh, no, bro. I know these players. I just don't know their names. The D tackle <laughs> for Georgia, one hundred percent. I just keep, forget their names. This feels right a now. little biased. Not. <laughs> You cannot tell me that the D tackle for Georgia has not, and Georgia's defense is gonna win a lot of these. All right, let's talk about the worst team in college football. What do you think that is? We're well, gonna do two to categories. Go categories, okay, okay. Give me yeah, power five and group of five. Power five, and then all, and then group of five. Well, Arizona. Group of five and all. It's probably gonna be Arizona. Yeah, Arizona probably worse than power five. What about group of five? Shit. I don't know. The worst team. I'm going to say Colorado. Co Colorado's in the Pac-12. Oh, yeah. That, no, Colorado's the worst team in the Power 5 conference then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. You're right. I don't know uh, that, why. I don't know why Colorado would be in the Pac-12. In group of five? Um, damn. Can we, uh... Fuck yeah. I'm trying to think I right have now. no idea. <laughs> All right, look. Um, mm. um, we're gonna say Georgia Southern because I just hate them today. Give me, give me Troy. I thought it was a safety. <laughs> okay, anyway, okay. Yeah, Troy. So, yeah, I'll, I'll take Troy. Okay, I don't know all. We're just gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna say both say Colorado because that one we're both definite about. I would have sold okay. so bad. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the rest of the list. Will the will the Giants make the playoffs? I'm gonna say no. I don't. Okay. If, if there's, okay, if there's any team that is going to have two, three three teams in the play, if there's any division that's gonna have three teams in the playoff, it's definitely gonna be. It's definitely gonna be the uh, what's called NFC East. I think I think the Giants. Hold on. Okay, let's think about it. let's think about it. One seed in the E. Let's say. What's it, one seed in the NFC East? I mean, one seed in the NFC. I'm gonna go with the Eagles. Let's say that I think they are legit. They just haven't played very weak. They play very weak opponents, so they could just right now they look kind of fake. So I'm gonna say Eagles. Who do you, who are you taking at that one seed? I'm, yeah, I'm probably gonna say Eagles. As a Cowboys fan myself, I hate to say that, but like the Eagles have at looked really good. Seed, I'm not. I'm not at the two seed. At the two seed, give me the 49ers. Oh, They're oh! I thought you said in the conf. I thought you said in the conference. My fault. Yeah, I'll go. I no, I don't think the Eagles are gonna make the one seed. I think that this is gonna surprise people. I think that the Buccaneers, even though they had out gone out to a rocky start, I think they're gonna bounce back in the second half of the season. I don't hate that, but I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep my top two at three. How do you have? Who do you have at two then? At two, Eagles. Okay. Three, I'm taking the Vikings. 
I, I, don't think it is. I don't hate that. I don't hate that. I think Green Bay makes it on a wild card. Yeah, and number four, I'm taking the Bucks. Who do you have at two? At two, I had the uh, I two. That's I had incomplete the, as hell. I just lurk your ass. Shut up, man. Um, at two, I had the 49ers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In All the right. wild, in the wild card, I think the one, the one wild card goes to the Packers. Who do they the play? The second one. What? Who? The, who they you... would play. They would play the Bucks. Yeah, they are. In that, in that second, in that second seed, give me the Cowboys. That is such bullshit. Playing the Vikings, and in that three seed, who? Okay, okay. Name a team above the Giants. That's the thing. The NFC is so weak this year that it's really not a will the Viking Eagles make the playoff. It is will anybody else take that spot? We already listed. We already li There's ten other NFC teams. Which one is going to make the playoffs? Oh shit! I didn't list the Rams. Okay, yeah, the Rams. Okay, that's on me. Nope, I don't think the Giants are going to make the playoffs. That is such a bad throw. <sighs> Anyways, okay, uh, all right, let's keep going down the line. All right, will, will the Cowboys, Cowboys have, have a? I, I, uh, me personally, as a Cowboys fan, how I would comment on it, I don't think they will. I think Dak has been the main guy just because he gets hurt, hurt a few times doesn't mean he should be kicked out. Like Cooper Rush, he's been good, but he's really been like a guy who you win be not be not because of, but more of like he's like a team player instead of like an impact player. When Dak is more of like that impact player that always like tries to put his team That's on his back. That's the same Dak. shit that happened when Dak Prescott took over in 2014. Same thing. No, it was really different. It was really different. It was not really. Different. It, he was a he balled. He balled out in 2016 when he took over. He, he or else or else, Tony Romo would have never retired, or he would have retired after like three years, and Dak Prescott would be going 28 as like uh. Hmm. Let's see, I think Tony Romo would have probably stayed to like 2017, 2018. So he'd be entering in this year with like, I don't know, but just not an amazing, he wouldn't, he wouldn't be okay. as old as he okay. is in the game. I think, games. here's what I think. I think, I think that the Coop, that the Cowboys owe it to Cooper Rush after his performance so far and winning Cowboys these games. That they'll start Dak Prescott next week. I think they definitely should start. Is he starting tomorrow? No. Good. I think when I think when Dak Prescott gets back, they should start him, give him the first quarter, and then give Cooper Rush the second quarter and see who falls out. I think that they owe it to Cooper Rush, who's won this, who's kept this team competitive in in the division in the playoff race. And they owe it to him to at least give him a shot. He's looked very good this season. He hasn't looked like he's a, he hasn't looked like an All Pro quarterback or an MVP candidate or somebody that could win the game for you. But he's looked like he's able to win games. So I think they owe it to Cooper Rush to at least give him a shot. I think there will be a tiny quarterback controversy, but overall, I think they're gonna go I think they're gonna give this to Dak Prescott. I think Cooper Rush is gonna have a very strong standing to just go to a weak is he a free agent this year or next year? Next year. I think he's gonna get re signed though. I don't know, like, cause he is right now with how he's playing. There's a very good shot that if he that he might go to a very he's not league. okay. I think it's I not. think I think what you're confusing is that that because they're winning the games, it's all because of the quarterback. It, that he's I'm not there. saying it's all because of the quarterback. That's that's, that's kind of that's because he he hasn't looked very good statistically. He's statistically he's, I don't, no, statistically but I mean, no. You, but he makes those fan. he makes those throws in clutch paces. But the way that just Dak Prescott and how everyone like bonds, how they bond with him, how they form relationships with him. I'm not saying that he's going to start. I already said that. I think Dak Prescott will start. There will be a s small quarterback controversy. But I don't think the Cow I think I think Cooper Rush asked for too much from the Cowboys. The Cowboys don't resign him because they would never play a backup quarterback that much. He goes to a very QB needy team and gets them maybe six wins that year and maybe gets a, a big extension but I don't think I we have already decided it's pretty well known Cooper Rush is not gonna be an all-pro guy not an MVP candidate yeah 
but he is very talented for a backup quarterback, and I think that he, I think that he can definitely go to a QB needy team and succeed and get them, getting them six to ten wins. They have to have a good defense, though. Cowboys have a really good defense. I think people Cowboys sleep on their defense. defense. I think that people people are sleeping on their defense. Honestly, you don't hear about their it. Talking about it. So Steph, I, I also want to say something here. I don't know. I don't know why I decided to say it, but Stephen A is literally only known for hating on the Cowboys. Yes, we know that. He is not a good sportscaster. He just sits there and talks about the Cowboys all day. I think secretly he's a Cowboys fan. I thought it was a Giants, a Giants fan or something. Right? It practically that is. Ex- that's, that explains why, then. Alright. Um, <laughs> this is not going very well for you. But I think, I think we move on from that. Who should the Panthers hire? That is a very good question. Well, have they fired Matt? They fi- yeah, they, they fired Matt Rule like a week ago. Oh. So who sh- who do you think they should hire? Nice pickup. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so I um, think I think. All right. I'm gonna give say. Your, give me your top three. Give me your top three candidates, and then tell me who you're gonna hire. All right, top three candidates. Um, who is the coach that got fired last year out of the Dolphins? I can't remember his name. Brian Flores. Brian Flores, yeah, give me him. I don't think they're. I don't think they're gonna hire him because of that civil case. That is so fucked. <laughs> he, he literally has X Factor. Why are you throwing? He literally has shutdown. And you're continuing to throw out a shutdown. It's not very smart. But um, uh, hold on. What was I saying? I don't think. I don't think they'll hire him just because of that, because of his leak litigation going on with the NFL right now. The NFL might, might not even allow them to hire him. Yeah, well, maybe. For all we know. But, but if um, if they were to allow him, I think that's a yeah, perfect think, pickup I, for. If the Panthers are cool with it, I think that's a very good decision. Okay, give me your other two candidates. Um. Hmm. Let's think about it. I honestly think the coach at Tennessee. Well, for he's only coached Tennessee for like two years, man. Yeah, honestly, but but no, the no, way no, he's no, transformed no, 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 the wait, team wait, wait, wait. and turned it I around think you're so right, quickly. He, I was about to say that's crap because of that time frame. Josh Allen did not throw that incredible ball, but no, uh, because I wouldn't even hold against it. They hired they hired Matt Rule, and he only coached Baylor for. He only had one or maybe two good seasons with Baylor. They were like, yep, higher. So I don't hate your decision there. But I don't think you take – if Mark Stoops doesn't win, I think Mark Stoops is – no, Mark Stoops coaches Kentucky. Who is coaching? Goddamn Tennessee. I said Billy Napier. He's coaching Florida. <laughs> Got to catch that. Um, but, no, I think I think that's not a bad decision. I think Panthers wouldn't do that. But I don't think he would uh, – if they don't win the national championship this year, which I oh. don't think they will, I don't think he'd do that. But give me your third candidate. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. All right. All right. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. You know, it's probably a controversial decision, but I'm gonna say, um, who, who's the coach at um, South Carolina? Ah, him. He's that like, he's, he, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It was a joke. It was a joke. Not a very good one, but. Okay. I probably should just all oh, five finished. I should. I have not had a good game, guys. Um, I don't know. Those are my only two candidates that I think. I don't okay. really know. Okay. Uh, I think Ken Dorsey. Uh, Ken Dorsey. John Gruden. No, that's my joke pick. That is so messed up. <laughs> that is not even my fault. Ken Dorsey, Dan Quinn, and uh, Dan Gruden. Quinn. I don't know about Dan. Dan Quinn's not a good head coach. He's a good defensive coordinator. He's a really damn good defensive coordinator. He has shown that he cannot be a good coach. Who is that? Hold on. I think he might get a. 
I think Jim Harbaugh, uh, Dan Quinn, and Bob. I think who did I say for my first one? I forgot his name. So Jim Harbaugh, the head coach for Michigan, and Ken Dorsey, the offensive coordinator for the Bills, and Dan Quinn are the top three candidates there. Jim Harbaugh already has. John Harbaugh or Jim Harbaugh? I don't give a fuck who it is. They, he already has NFL coaching experience with the 49ers. And he requi- declined because he thought this Michigan team would be better and he could take them to a national championship. They are better. They have a very good shot of taking them far. I don't think they're going to win the national championship. I, I think, think Jim gonna gonna Harbaugh says, I told him all I can do with this. I, hold on. I'm not done talking. I think he says, I've done all I can do with this Michigan team. I'm going to go to the NFL again to the Panthers. And I think after that, I think he's one of those top three. I think the hot, the guy who they hire, I don't think they hire Dan Quinn because of what you said, what you already said, which I think is correct. I think they might hire Bob Cousy. Offensive coordinator for the Bills for, I think, a couple, I think two, three years now. He's been very talented. He's driven Josh Allen. He was a quarterback coach at the start. He's developed. What the fuck was that? He <laughs> developed Josh Allen into what he is now, which is an MVP candidate. And my pick for MVP. I think Dick Ken Dorsey is the higher. Okay. I'm, 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 my higher my higher is definitely um, it, Brian Flores. But obviously, I don't know if they're going to lie. So I'm probably going to go with head coach of Tennessee. I completely forgot his name right now. I'm blanking so bad yeah, right now. I don't now. know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> I've not had a very good day. Not a good okay. day at all. Are the Broncos' playoff chances in jeopardy? Yes. They are not a good I team. I agree with you. They need to start winning right now, or their playoff chances are gone. Ho- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, Russell Wilson, everyone thought he was going to be like, I, I actually thought for a second, like, he could be a good player, and maybe, maybe, yeah. um, maybe he's just he's like the fucking back. Russell Westbrook. He goes to a different team and gets a huge contract and just is selling. The Russes are not doing so good. Okay, we gotta move on because we don't have a lot of time left. Alright. Um, okay. We already discussed who's gonna make the playoffs in the NFC. Who's gonna make the playoffs in the AFC? AFC. Alright, give me Bills, Chiefs. Hold on, you have to do your order. Okay. Number one seed, I'm definitely gonna go to the Chiefs. I mean, we'll see, we'll see. This weekend. Literally tomorrow. That's it's Yeah. I'm taking Bills with the one seed. Go with your two seed. Two seed, I'm taking the I'm taking the Bills. Two seed okay, two seed I am going to be taking the uh Chargers. Hot take, I think Chargers are very talented. Cool. Damn, fumble the ball, man. <laughs> Anyways, okay, uh, Chargers are very, but they did lose very badly to the Jags. Three seed? My well, three seed. I it was out. Um, let's think about it. Baltimore. Baltimore. Give me Baltimore. At- yeah, give me Baltimore at the three seed. Okay, who's your four seed? My four seed is, um. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, you know what? Um, I think I'm going to go Dolphins here. Not fucking possible, but okay. <laughs> think about it. <laughs> hey, not possible, but okay. <laughs> think about it. <laughs> okay. Uh, we are just going... Okay. At the four... Okay, actually, I'm being serious. Four seeds. Um, what I said? I say Chiefs. Dude. It has to be an AFC South team. AFC South. Colts. I don't hate it. I think Matt Ryan is so ass. He is. He's washed. He hasn't been good since 2016, 2017. Give me the Jags. Jags. I, I don't hate that pick. I don't hate it. All right, at the, at the five seed for me, I'm going Dolphins. Five seed, give me Dolphins. All right, six seed, I'm going to definitely have to go Jags here. Give me... <sighs> There's no way two AFC's out teams are making the playoffs. As an L take. Give me the, uh... Give me the, uh, Chiefs. Chiefs? <laughs> Can you put the Chiefs in twice? 
<laughs> no, I did Chargers to start. I didn't do the Chiefs yet. You oh, yeah. Chiefs. Raiders. At seven? I hate that take. Give me, um... Let me think for a second. I don't think oh, the give me Bengals, Bengals might... Give me Bengals at the seventh seed. I don't think. I just don't see it happening. I think last year was a Cinderella story, but that Cinderella story didn't end well, and they are currently on an oh, AFC oh, championship oh, 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 oh. No, hangover. No, no, no. Give me the Browns. Give me the Browns. Give me the Browns. Wow, I hate that pick. That is the worst thing I've ever heard. They are winning games right now without Deshaun Watson. Deshaun yeah, Watson is never playing in the NFL. <laughs> Deshaun Watson is not playing in the NFL again. He, he only had an 11 game suspension. He comes back and plays against the Texans week. Bro. No, I don't think he. Because he just got sued again. He, there's another lawsuit. There's another lawsuit? <laughs> yes. Okay, let me change my pick. Hold on. The 25 the allegations, man. <laughs> 25. There's no way that 25 women just can't. You know what? You know what? That's Sean Watson raped me, guys. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Make okay, that 27. Okay. <laughs> 27 okay. people. I'm getting shit on right now. Okay, let's do. Okay, go to yeah, go to go, pull up the AP top 25. We're gonna do an AP uh top 25 breakdown. Okay. All right, number one, obviously Georgia. They haven't looked as dominant as last year. I'm not gonna lie. They were super dominant. They were they were really considered to be the best football team in college football last year. They were, huh? Literally just running slants. Um. Anyways, yeah. So they're not as dominant as last year, but they did have the nice win against um, uh, Vandy and 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 what's it called um Auburn. Two games they needed to perform well in, or else they probably wouldn't gonna stay in the top four for very long. But they did come out in the win in there. Georgia is that is that gonna be number one next week? Um, cause Ohio State didn't play this week. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're just gonna we're just gonna switch every single time. So I'll do evens, you do odds. So Ohio State was on a bye this week. I have to say, best offense in the nation. Definitely, gonna, I think they're gonna be my one of my national. Oh, uh, we'll get into that later. We have CFP projections. They're one of the best teams in the college football. Bama. I'm gonna I'm gonna just say and, something. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, my fault. And honestly, I'm a Georgia fan, right? But if there is, if there was not SEC bias, Ohio State's number one. It's not even a question. I don't. I'm a Georgia fan. I am a very big Georgia fan. I am an SEC fan. There's some definite SEC bias, and if SEC bias does not take over, oh, Ohio State's number one. That's all I have to say. I really don't like to say it, but Ohio State is the best team in the country. I, I, I do. I actually kind of agree with that pick. I don't think Georgia should be number one, especially after showing against Missouri. Ohio State hasn't played anyone. I will, I'm not going to say that they have. They have They have never struggled against an opponent, and except for in week one when they played Notre Dame. But I'm going to say and the first game one, in the season. They're just getting their things. First and game of the season, and, and, and they, 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 <gasps> Notre Dame fell off. I'm not going to lie. Notre Dame looked really good at the start of the season. They looked really good, especially going against uh, our house. The team. They you're just mad they lost. They beat BYU. I, I'm very mad they beat BYU. That was. I thought that was a perfect pick. Oh I thought BYU. God, God, I thought BYU was gonna be up by like a thousand at the halftime mark. I don't know why Notre Dame was favored, but I guess I guess they showed it to me why they why he was favored. Okay, you go to Alabama. Alabama. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get out the way. They lost. To number six ranked Let's Tennessee, go um, and you know what? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Saban is looking towards his end of the career. He's in the last four or five years of his career. He has his oh, team has been less. Than, Bama stretch. has really. I think, I think he might have this year and two more good years out of him. Bama has fallen off in the past few years. They haven't looked really dominant and how we've been seeing them for the last 20 years. Not 20, like 15, 10. They haven't looked like that since 2020. Last year, obviously, they had the loss against Georgia in the national championship. They did beat them at the SEC championship. Yep. Um, but 
you know, it's it was it was a game. Georgia hadn't played anyone really, but after they got their shit together with um, Alabama, we already knew who was gonna win the national championship. Yeah. Especially with um, oh him being God. out. And so okay. Okay. And all I have to say is they are definitely moving out of the top five, maybe even fall into six. I think maybe. they fall to seven. But I mm, that's I, that's a tough pick. Because Tennessee's the- six right now, and it was a close at it was a it was down to the wire, only a three point win. So I think maybe five is where I'm gonna put them right now. Five. Okay, I don't hate it. We're not doing projections yet. That's next. At oh, okay. Fort Clemson, they continue to look very good. I don't. They're playing Florida State right now. I don't actually know what's going on. What's that score? And, let's, let's see it. And guys, for the AP top twenty five predictions. It, they're up by 10 at halftime. Okay, I was about to, But the AP Top 25 predictions, we're going to look. What it will be is whoever. Uh, we're just going to take whoever's favorite in games that haven't ended yet. And just that's who we'll go with. We're going to act like everyone who's favorite is going to win, which will not happen. That is not going to happen. I do not. No. I think they're. Actually, uh, we'll just Coastal take Carolina, Carolina lost. I don't know why. Well, a lot of very Carolina. good teams and a lot of good. Group of five teams lost to very bad opponents today. They lost to Old Dominion. Very... Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're gonna just gonna do the top ten. So it and it goes with Michigan. Clemson looked very Michigan. good this year. They finally get their offense started against Wake Forest. I think they are in line to make a playoff push if they can continue to play as good as football as they have been the past couple of weeks. Michigan. All right. I'm gonna start it off by saying this. They have not. Played a single decent team, and I think they are so overrated. Penn State is overrated too. Penn State's overrated. Michigan's overrated. But I will. I've been saying it forever. Penn State has had an awful year. This year has not been good for them, and their offense is one of the worst in the league. It, it it's it's an okay. awful offense that is very ca- heavily carried by their defense, which was basically Georgia last year. But Georgia had at least times where the offense would perform really, really well against high-caliber opponents. They played really good defensive last, defenses last year. People like to overlook that. They played decent defenses last year. They played Alabama twice. They scored, what, 33 in the last one and 21 in the first one. You know, that's a lot better than what we've seen uh, Michigan do. They, they took them 22 minutes to score 13 on Penn State. 22 minutes to score 13 on one of the one of the not even a very good off uh, defense. So uh, for that reason, I'm, I'm I don't I don't think they deserve to be here. Through okay. my head. Okay, at six, this is the only time in my entire life I will say this. Rocky top. That's the end of my Tennessee discussion. <laughs> number seven. Who's that? Number seven. Wait, let me check. USC. Uh, USC. Overrated. Um, uh, they uh, have not, not played. Even the best team in L- not even the best team in LA. What? Keep walking. But nice catch. Anyways, overrated. Haven't really played amazing teams. They struggled against Stamp- Sanford, I believe. I don't remember. They struggled against a very bad opponent a few weeks ago. I- I'm starting to make a comeback, actually. You're not coming back from shit, man. Shit, you poop, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um. Oklahoma, okay, Oklahoma State, how. Just L. A TCU. Yeah, that, that, but, that is a big L. I'd never lose to TCU, personally. Mainly because okay. I'll never play TCU. Okay, you do Old Miss. Alright, Old Miss. Oh, the world's most overrated team. I say overrated for almost every team in the big in the top ten, but I am being dead serious when I say this team is overrated. They were down to Vanderbilt at halftime. They, uh, I'm also gonna say, they were awful against Auburn. Auburn, who has just beat 42 to 10 the previous week by the number one team in the nation, and you saying that these teams are only eight spots apart. I'm not going to lie, Old Miss offense does look pretty decent. But their defense is just horrible, Which is carrying them rancid ass juice, man. It, it's, it's the worst defense in the SEC. Definitely, I, may, I won't go that far. 
But it's a pretty bad damn defense. Alright, you can go to the okay. next one. Penn State, just so fucking mid. Oh my god. Atrocious. <sighs> That's all we have to say about that. We're gonna move on to our AP Top 25 predictions. We're gonna do the full 20 Top 25 for this. Okay, who do you right, have almost, number one? Almost thought, number one, um, Georgia. I think Georgia's gonna Georgia. stay in the... Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going off of what I personally believe. I'm going off of what per, uh, I think AP's gonna do. <sighs> That's just fucking insane. Yeah, I just committed to the throw anyways. Um, we got Georgia 1, Ohio State 2. 1 and 2 are staying. They're not changing. Yeah. Number, number, number three, three, Clemson. Tennessee. I think Clemson goes to number oh. three. That's what I think the AP poll will do. Clemson, three. I think Michigan goes Tennessee to four. Three. Tennessee to five. Alabama to six. Tennessee moves up one by beating Bama? They're a really... Oh, they're hell a, no. I, I, want, I, I don't think Michigan's going to fall. Do you think Clemson's going to fall? Uh, I think Clemson... Yeah, I think they both fall one. No, I th no, because Michigan had a really good game against Penn State. Oh, no, 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 I think Clemson, I think Clemson and Michigan say exactly what, I think Michigan jumps Clemson, Clemson moves to five. I don't Tennessee know about that one. Two. I don't know about that one. Here's what I think, okay, listen to me. I think Tennessee moves to three, and Michigan and Clemson switch. And then that fills up my top six. So at six, give me Bama. At All seven, right. US, USC's gonna beat Utah, Utah's ass. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll take USC too. But actually, Eight? you know what? I'm gonna say USC six, Bama seven, Oklahoma State. I actually don't like that. Oklahoma State is at eight right now. I think Oklahoma. Wait, no. Who's that? Who do I have at eight? I'm gonna take um. Well, a lot of top ten. I'm gonna take UCLA at eight. Okay, give me TCU. Moves up five spots. TCU. I think TCU goes to nine. Um, and then okay, at ten. At nine, Ten. Who um, who does who do well, Oregon I play? I my nine. My nine. Okay. Give me UCLA. That was a very bad game for me. Yeah. Okay. Who do you have at your ten? My ten. Personally, I have at my ten. Um, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna give Oregon that spot. Uh, I'm gonna have to agree with you. Oregon rounds up my top ten. So for me, I'll go ahead and line out my top ten. We'll do this every ten spots. Georgia, Ohio State, Tennessee, Michigan. Clemson, Alabama, USC, uh, TCU, hold on, who do I have there? UCLA, and Oregon. Okay, Georgia, Ohio State, um, and then we give, Cle I give Clemson the three, uh, Clemson the three, and then Michigan the four, Alabama falls, wait, no, then I give Tennessee the fifth. I give UCLA, USC the sixth, and then I give Alabama the seventh, and then in eight I put um, UCLA, and then I put TCU, TCU behind them, and then at ten I put Oregon. Okay, so let's start our next one. I start off the top. I start eleven Old Miss. <coughs> I'm gonna go with Wake Forest. I don't hate it. Twelve, give me Wake Forest. Give me Old Miss here. Th Thirteen, give me Syracuse. Um, I agree with that. Thirteen, Syracuse. Fourteen, give me Mississippi State. Mississippi State. Yeah, I don't hate that. It, that would be a top fifteen matchup. Fourteen. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna take Ka Kansas State. Fifteen, give me Kansas State. Fifteen, give me Mississippi State. Okay, 16, they lost. Give me, oh, shit, bro, what happened? Because, uh, oh, no, 16, give me Oklahoma State. Oh, yeah, I, I agree with that one. Okay, 17, give me Cincinnati. Cincinnati, okay. Yeah, I don't hate that. 18, give me Penn State. I think they fall to nineteen actually. So I'm gonna put um in my I'm gonna put um taxes there. Okay. I, what are we at right now? Twenty or nineteen? Um You just said you're at nineteen with uh Yeah, yeah, we're at twenty now. Cincinnati at nineteen. I put uh No, I said my twenty was gonna be Texas. 
And who was your who was my night? Wait, no, no, I don't agree with that. Actually, no, wait, twenty because they had a bad game. Twenty, I think. Okay, I think. Um, what? North Carolina jumps in. Wait, no. Mm mm. Huh. <laughs> twenty. Um. Okay, who did Kentucky play this week? Did they win? Because if they win, I, I think Mississippi State is going to win. That's why I put them at fifteen. I mean fourteen. It's three to three right now. If kid, I'm going to put Kentucky at twenty. If they can win that game, definitely goes to twenty. Okay, at my twenty, I think I'm going to take Illinois. Okay, at my twenty-one, I'm going to take Illinois. Uh, at my twenty-one, I'm going to take Texas. At my twenty-two. I'm going to take UNC. Give me UNC too. At my twenty, what what the hell happened? Texas and Kentucky are tied. The fuck? Yeah. At twenty, <laughs> what? At twenty three, give me, give me NC State. Yeah, I'm I'm probably I'm gonna go twenty three NC State. Twenty four, did Minnesota win or lose? Um, who did they play? I completely forgot. They play. I don't know who they play. They played Illinois. They, they lost, lost Illinois. Thing. Yeah. So Illinois. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put go- Baylor at my twenty. I'm gonna put Baylor at my twenty-three. I don't. I don't okay. In twenty-four, I still need my twenty-four and twenty-five. Jamie okay. obviously falls out. I think BYU gets ranked again. Maybe Notre Dame jumps up. Well, let's see how they're playing against Stanford. Stanford. I think that's who they're playing. I could be very wrong. Yeah, they're playing Stanford. Holy shit! What? It's 10-0. Are they winning? No. Damn. Maybe Arkansas will get ranked again. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna take BYU out. I don't think BYU is gonna get ranked again. I'm gonna yeah, put Arkansas. Me, Arkansas just me, just give, demolished BYU. Out my twenty, out my twenty four. Give me Liberty. Liberty. Yeah, Liberty. Okay. Um, what happened to Tulane this week? Because if at my twenty four, I'll put Tulane there if they did good. Because honestly, Tulane. Tulane's a very a very underrated football program. They destroy. They didn't destroy. They scored thirty-five. I mean, forty-five on South Florida. So I'm gonna put okay. Tulane in my tw- at twenty-four and at twenty-five. I'm gonna round it out. Um, I'm okay. This is okay. I know JMU did lose, and for that they're not gonna make that top twenty-five. But I still think that was just an off game for them. I still think that they are one of the best teams in the the top twenty-five teams in the country. Um, so I'm gonna put them there at twenty-five. I'm keeping JMU. I don't think they fall. They will fall in the actual rankings, but that's me, my personal rankings. Okay, for me, give me Purdue. Purdue was, like, very good these past couple games. Purdue? Yeah, I, I don't hate that. I don't hate that at all. I think that's actually what's going to happen. All right, next topic. Heisman predictions. Hi, I'm going Kendon. Uh, Hilton. Give me Hendon Hooker. Give yeah, me Hendon Hooker. Hooker. Yeah, we agree with that one. I think maybe... I think Hendon Hooker has had an amazing year. Uh, oh maybe, may, but didn't Blake, Blake, what's his name? Corbin, I think. Blake Corbin got hurt this week. He still rushed for over, he still rushed for almost 200 yards, which is crazy. Yeah. He's been okay. a really good running back so far. MLB Talk, we're going to spend five minutes on this because we <laughs> only have, hold on, let me check the website. Is this one of our long ones or the other ones? We have it. Honestly, I just want to skip MLB talk because MLB talk was. It, I, I it's really been, don't want to talk it's about been it a now. very painful day for me in, 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 yeah, with the end. Yeah, I really don't want to talk about it right now. All right. Um. Nobody gave me to skip that. Okay. Just skip to the mic. Click on the link. No, click on Dan Snyder. I'd never Dan been Snyder that. apparently has dirt on other teams. Um, what this dirt could be, honestly, I don't know. It could be literally anything. 
And it literally and, could just be a Literally, I, I think the emails that have come out about him with John Gruden, I think it's every single NFL owner. All of them have the same bullshit that's going on. They, they're rich people. They're rich people who party. What do you the think rich, is going to Rich people do not like... The rich people... Most rich people are very racist. I, 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 I don't hate that. Oh my god. Oh I don't hate that. Honestly. I, yeah, I'm going to go with yeah. that prediction too. I think it's the same shit that happened. William Jackson wants out of Washington. Just some bitch ass... Bitch ass guy who's not very good. And just wants out of Washington because everyone wants out of Washington. I mean, who really does want to stay in Washington? Nobody Cars- wants to stay in Washington. Scary Terry. Scary, Scary Terry can make mo- way Terry's much more just money. A <laughs> 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 oh. Anyways, uh, it's Mark Tomlin wrong and Matt Canada. Still should in fact fire Mike Tomlin says that Matt Canada is not the reason for the offensive production, lack of offensive production, and he should not be fired. I personally believe that Matt Canada is the most ass offensive coach. I said it when he was hired. I did not think he should be hired. I think he should be fired. Okay, what I'm going to say here is Mike Tomlin is entirely wrong. It is literally, that is what their job is to do, is to coach the offense. That is their job. If the offense is doing bad, blame it. Okay, maybe blame it on the guys who are making millions of dollars. Maybe, yeah, maybe, that's maybe. That's a fair take. That, that's but, a fair take. but but the but person who is done. there to make sure that the offensive schemes are working and change it up and say to the players, "Hey, you're doing ass at your job. You need to do this better, or you won't get paid." Is, is the offensive months. coordinator and Mike Tomlin should not be sitting here. I know he has to defend him. He he's forced to defend him because he that's his guy. If he doesn't defend him, then there goes the chemistry. Steelers lose all the games the rest of the year, which I think they might, um, based on how they've been playing. Hot take. I think that he's wrong, that Matt Canada has had plenty of rotational players. They've had many receivers, a couple of different running backs, three different quarterbacks, a couple of different tight ends, different offensive linemen, and same lack of production. Okay. Draymond, Draymond punched Jordan Poole. That's crazy. <gasps> like, it was in practice. And also, Jordan Poole got an extension. I know. Jordan Poole That's... deserved it. Yeah, honestly. There's a video. Um... Oh, my gosh. We, I would pull up the video, but it would probably end the stream. But It would if... end the stream. I'm going to watch it right now. I mean, that's crazy. Punching one of your teammates in practice is so messed up. It's literally the guy. You are being paid millions of dollars to go out there and put on a show, and to punch a teammate over that because of what frustrations you have over him. He is he is with you. He's with you, eighty two games of the season, unless he gets traded away. Honestly, I don't. They're not going to trade away Jordan Poole because Jordan Poole is lit. Just literally got a re signing, at like what today or yesterday. Something like that. I don't know. I can't remember exactly. Jeremiah Green is old as fuck. He's gonna get suspended. And he might... He might deserve it. Honestly, I think punching another man in the face because you play a sport... Because you play a professional sport. Professional sport is not the same as college football, high school football, middle school. It's, It's different. You are getting paid millions of dollars. Millions of dollars to go out there, put on some pads, and hit some people. Okay? You are literally getting paid to have fun. Okay. <laughs> Millions of dollars to have fun. Warriors that GM so Bob Myers seemed to minimize the incident later, saying these things happen. Nobody likes to be Don't condone it, but it happens. He goes on to say, Draymond apologized to the team. Jordan was there in the room. As far as any suspension, punishment, fine. We will handle that internally. So, fine as possible. I think there should definitely be it. I think there should be a suspension. At least like oh, a week long suspension. He just punched one of your players in the face. It's a nice catch. That's bullshit. Man, literally just saved my drive. Steph Curry designed a report claiming a change in Poole's attitude to make contract negotiations led to it calling. So, George... Steph Curry literally... So, a reporter said, was Jordan Jordan Poole just pissed because he wasn't given the contract he wanted? And Steph Curry just said, that's bullshit. 
Because he literally got a contract after it happened. Yeah. And it was a pretty big one, too. It was like $103 million for four years or something like that. I can't remember. He deserves it. They should put baddies in the crowd. They should get rid of Rus Russell Westbrook. They don't have Russell Westbrook. I, I, I don't know why I'm thinking they're the Lakers. I don't know why. I don't know what part of my mind said Lakers. Um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Um, a player was kicked out of Wisconsin. Offensive lineman Logan Brown. He 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 went to the transfer portal. Um, he went to the transfer portal, but he got kicked out first. I wonder what he did. I bet. I don't know. Wisconsin probably, is losing, and he probably got heated about it. That is one of the worst things. So yeah, that's all the topics we're gonna talk about. We're gonna just gonna freestyle right now, guys. That we, we follow the script. I'm not we even literally lie. ran out of ideas. Yeah. So we have like what we have nine minutes left. Um. So yeah, just whatever you want to bring up. Um. Yeah. The Braves. The Braves the lost. Braves. Oh my It was gosh, such a horrible game. I turned it off halfway over. I went. I went and watched the Kansas OU game. Which I said Kansas was gonna win, but I was very wrong uh, on that. No, it was you it was a bad it was a bad day for me in the terms of picks. Uh, you wanna you guys wanna hear my picks for this week? I'll show you guys. Yeah. I'll read it out. Let's go, let's go over picks. Um, first off, I said Bam Bam was gonna win by like three points. I I'm not super mad at that. Um, I said UGA forty nine to seven Vandy. I was only a tiny bit wrong on that. I'm not even bad. I I was wrong. I was wrong by six points on the UGA. Seven by Vandy. I thought Vandy was gonna get a shit time touchdown, but nope, couldn't do it. Thank God. Honestly, our defense needed a shutout after. How long has it been since the last shutout? That was totally pass interference. Yeah, the sudden <laughs> defensive pi. I said Clemson in the FSU game was gonna be close. It has not looked like that so yeah, far. Yeah, I, I had thirty-five, thirty-one. I had thirty-five, twenty-eight. I thought Clemson. I don't, was gonna even, win I don't even want to talk by the next game. We both had Michigan losing by three. I had Michigan losing by three. I don't know. I can't remember. Either. I had them losing by six. Okay, I'll go over my UGA 49, Vandy 7. Didn't happen. I'm glad we scored more points. Oh, she had a bye. Bama. Holy shit. Hold on. I was fucking... I predicted... It was... Oh my god, awful wild by Bulock. I had 49 Tennessee, Bama 45. Why was the Broncos like, now that I think about it? I don't know. I just, I, you saw the Giants, so I was like, oh, we're picking ass teams. Okay. I, had, I had a 45 Bama 42 Tennessee. So I was really close. I, I believed it was going to be a shootout. It was, I was, it was, it was going to be an entertaining game. It was exactly that. It was exactly what we wanted to see. Oh, oh, Tennessee almost sold. Tennessee almost yeah. sold really bad, and a lot of Bama fans are saying it was the rest. But honestly, I think both teams had bad calls against them. I, as a neutral perspective, as a neutral watcher, because I hate Tennessee and I hate Bama, um, I, I think it was very even. There was a play that could have changed the course of the game. The pa the defensive pass interference, um, in oh when Bama God, it was first and goal. Bullshit. That was most definitely offensive bi. Okay, so. I had Clemson 35, FSU 31. Hasn't been very close. And I had Michigan 31, Penn State 37. Sorry. Yeah, that and Michigan lock, game. Kinda... Hendon Hooker, 250 passing yards. Hit awesome. More than 250 passing yards. I don't even want to talk about my next one. I had Penn State plus 7. They, they lost by 24. Yeah. I, okay, I don't want to talk about my Kansas one because that, that was really bad. I'm not going to lie. But my Michigan running back, Blake Corum, literally was the best decision I've ever made. I was like, I'm going to say over 100 yards. And I was like, no, they're probably going to say this bullshit because it's like. But he had like, um, he's been playing amazing. You put Teddy Bridgewater in. I like Teddy Bridgewater. He's a very nice guy. Very cool. Get, your, get some wheels now. Okay. That's the end of the first. Let's, we have five who's minutes the, What are the matchups? Week, week. Next week. Eight. Oh, next week's going to be a pretty boring week, I'm pretty sure. Georgia has a bye week. Yeah, we play Florida, so we have a bye week. 
Iowa Syracuse and Ohio Clemson. State. Syracuse Clemson is gonna be a fucking. Sh it's gonna be such a good game. Texas I'm versus Oklahoma State. I'm, I'm, I'm. That's gonna be an easy pick for me. Well, who's favorite in that game? Honestly, I think Texas is gonna win. Okay, I'm gonna take two hot takes. Y'all can't say nothing about it. Okay. Give me Syracuse over Clemson, and give me Michigan Mississippi State against Alabama. Oh no, nah, that's the worst take I've ever heard. James Madison is 100 percent gonna destroy Marshall. They need it as a comeback, like a bounce back win. And then if they make a bowl game, I feel like the, the I don't know, I don't know. No, no, hold on, hold on. UCLA Oregon plays. That is oh gonna be the game God. of the week, honestly. That is gonna be that's game. That's TCU a, Kansas oh. State. Give me it's, Kansas State. I no. I'll take oh, a TCU. I thought Kansas State was some like bull I forgot Kansas State was actually a power five school. I thought it was some like bullshit group of five school. Has like Texas State. <laughs> uh but no, yeah, give, give me TCU. I think TCU makes Definitely, uh, definitely. I think TCU wins wins the Big Twelve. I thought you said makes a college football playoff, so like Asher, Nova, Clark. What? That's the wrong name, but okay. Don't care. What do you want? I thought you said that. Uh, what's this, what? What is called? That TCU is gonna make the playoffs. This is the worst take I've ever heard. Do you want to run no, like? I said TCU do you want to do you want to finish the podcast once this game ends, or do you want to just end it in three minutes? Uh, we'll just end it when we run out of ideas. No, I said TCU win the big wins the Big Twelve. Yeah, fuck me. Um. Old Miss. Old loses Miss. To loses to OSU. Okay, we're, we're gonna do. I got an idea. We're gonna do Power Five Conference Championship predictions in the Big Twelve. Who do you got? Big Twelve. Um, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take. Honestly, it's either gonna be. It's gonna be. I think Texas makes it, and and they play TCU, and I think TCU wins. That's my prediction. So we'll move on. Big Ten. It's it. Ohio State wins. Michigan. Just, who's their play? Michigan. Uh, give me Ohio State versus Michigan. You have Michigan beating Ohio State. No, I don't think Michigan's gonna win the Big the Big Ten. I think that's who they're gonna play. I think Ohio State's gonna it's, win them. Ohio State can't play Michigan. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Ohio State. <laughs> the the the, give me Ohio the, State. the West the Big Ten is it West? I can't remember one that Michigan State's in. No. Michigan State's in the East. The give me awful, Ohio State versus one? Give me Ohio State versus Illinois and I'm taking Ohio State. Yeah, Illinois is probably gonna make that. Honestly, it's the worst division in college football. Ooh, I wouldn't say that. It is the Big bad. Ten. It is it is rancid ass. That was the worst voice crack I think I've ever had in my Pac entire 12, life. Give me Oregon versus UCLA. I think UCLA yeah. is the best team in the Pac twelve. UCLA has been amazing, and everyone clowned on me for taking UCLA over Utah, and I was like, that's an easy pick, because UCLA has been dogging on teams, and it's 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 honestly been so much fun to watch. I love UCLA. I, I love, love their UCLA. jerseys. I, I love, love UC yeah, UCLA has such clean jerseys. I love them so much because the first time I really get got into basketball was that year they had that silver run, silver oh. Cinderella. Run, I so I actually. I don't watch college basketball. I watched it when St. Peter's went into the final uh, yeah, I four. Because I, I, I really they wanted them to the win it. Four. They went to the Elite Eight. Whatever. Oh, my God. What an awful ball by Teddy Bridgewater. Oh, my God. <laughs> Big man got juked out of his... Out of his In the <laughs> Southeast. In the Southeast. Okay, Georgia versus... I'm gonna let y'all think before I say. I am not gonna say who's gonna win the East until Georgia and Tennessee plays, because that is whoever's the winner of that game wins the East. Give me Georgia out of the East. I'm a, who do you think is gonna get out of the West before I say who I think is gonna get out of the West? Bama. Give me. Bama is not an ass team because they lost to a very good Tennessee. Team. I don't. Th I think they are a very good team, but I think that that they. they sh Give me goddamn. Give me the team out of Oxford to make their first ever Oxford. SEC championship. Oxford. 
Mississippi. I am. That is okay. Anyways, guys, we're gonna end it because Asher is literally. I think he's having a seizure right now. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But I don't. I don't. I don't. I hate that pick. I really do. I think Mississippi State is gonna get humbled next week or this week. Can Kentucky is so was so fucking overrated at the beginning of the year. They are so fucking overrated now. They will never be good. Never in a million years. Never. I didn't it, take Mississippi State. I didn't take Mississippi State. Old Miss State. is even worse. <laughs> Give me Old Miss. That's even worse, man. Maybe they can steal Alabama signs again. Last year was a dream year for me. Yeah. Okay, college football playoff predictions to end it off. Give me your one seed. Give me your one seed. Alright, I'm back. My controller just died. Give me your one seed. My one seed in the college football playoffs? Ohio State. Oh, thread the needle. Oh my god! Teddy Bridgewater! That was the freest route ever, bro. Give me, yeah, give this me game is literally the opposite of the last one. <laughs> Who do you have at number two, Georgia? Number two? I, I, I think Ohio State. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> I, think of, I think a three-team uh, SEC college football playoffs is entirely... That was... Oh, a three-team college football playoff uh, SEC team is entirely possible this year. Georgia needs yeah. to beat Tennessee and lose to Alabama. Three-team SEC. We know who the two teams that are going to make it is. It's Georgia and Alabama. Hold on. Now. I'm not Georgia. Not, Al- not Georgia and Alabama. Ohio State is definitely going to make it. Yep. I think it's going to be Ohio State, Georgia at the one in- at the one and two seed. That's so- who I have. And, at, and then at, at the four seed, I'm not gonna say three yet. At the four seed, I'm gonna take Clemson. At the four seed, give me Tennessee. And then at the three seed, give me Tennessee. So yeah. Georgia and Tennessee play as a rematch of their earlier game in the year. They see they would they would never do that in the first round. That's why like I would have took Tennessee at three, but they would never do that. Give me Clemson at three, because they would never allow a fucking rematch like that to happen in the first round. You, you're shitting me, bro. I can't get much worse than that. It cannot. It cannot. Uh, what else? Now what let's else? Where is that twelve-team playoff format? We'll do it in that. And that's how we'll end it. <laughs> I can't bubble my ass. Man dropped it on the ground. <laughs> watch this. Watch this. Oh. Tennessee be like <laughs> That's exactly what happened. I thought it was game over at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Alabama, this is literally Alabama versus Tennessee. I thought Bryce Young would play better this week. Um, do you have any more ideas, honestly? Okay, we have to do the uh the the twelve team college football playoff. Draft. I I don't remember the format at all. Honestly. Okay, I'll tell you the format. So you have to pick your four highest rated conference championships. Oh my god, <laughs> four rated, four highest rated conference championships: Ohio State, Georgia, UCLA, and Clemson. I'm okay. I'm I I really want a three team playoff, a uh, three team SEC playoff. That that would happen with the with the twelve. It would. I think four teams would make it with the twelve. That's SEC not- is the best conference in in NCAA. That's not a question. People are saying okay, Big so- Ten has a chance. The Big Ten does not compare to the loudness, the toughness, the physicality of the SEC. SEC is literally insane. It is the closest. It is the closest to the NFL you will ever get. It's, the fan. The fans are better than the NFL. Uh, college football is way better than the NFL. Not in yeah. in terms of in terms of watching it and entertainment. But, yes. It is, it is so much more fun to watch. If you ask me if I would rather have two days of college football or a college football Saturday or college football or 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 NFL Sunday, I would take co- two days of college football every single time. 
Unless like, and we're gonna we're gonna put a spot for my Cowboys to play on Sunday. And a spot for my Bills. No, fuck your Bills, man. Fuck your Cowboys. <laughs> I, I I will fuck my Cowboys. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, he got your laying ankles. Okay, so. Those are my those are my four, and then okay. So at my five, so you have to choose your top four highest rated conference championships. Okay, top I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I don't really know because I don't I don't know if Georgia will beat Tennessee. But whoever wins that game is definitely making the college football playoff. Because Tennessee has shown they can beat Alabama. Tennessee had very to Alabama almost won because of Tennessee's mistakes. Yeah. So okay, they, so if they can okay, limit the mistakes, I think they beat Georgia. Choose four goddamn conference champions. Stop making it so complicated. All choose right. four conference. I don't really want to say this because I really want Georgia to win, but I don't. As a as a person, as a realistic Georgia fan, I'm gonna say Tennessee beats us. I'm very scared of that game, so I'm gonna say Tennessee, Clemson. No, Tennessee, Ohio State, Clemson, Michigan. No. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why I thought. Thank God. <laughs> that would have been okay. a pick. So L takes at five. Give me at five. Give me uh, Tennessee. At six, give me Michigan. At seven, give me USC. At eight, give me Alabama. At nine, tough. give me Oregon. At ten, give me TCU. And at eleven, give me Ole Miss. I'm not gonna lie. I think twelve is too much. I think it should be eight teams. <laughs> um, all right, all right. I am. I, I didn't say my. I said. I said my top three: Tennessee, top Ohio four. State. Oh no, I didn't say. I said. I didn't say my number four. Number four. I'm probably gonna go UCLA too. Yeah. That is. He didn't even jump. Go for it. <laughs> he just fell backwards. <laughs> <laughs> That's so infuriating. That happens all the time in this man. Anyways, um, and then at number five, I'm probably gonna go Georgia. Number six, I'm gonna put Alabama. Give me that shit, boy. <laughs> you, that was a wide open touchdown, though. He <laughs> missed. Yeah, I actually ran aggressive because I thought you were gonna play with me, but you ran off. You ran off like a pussy ass. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, uh, I don't think we have a lot more to talk about, honestly. I think that's it for the, the first ever podcast. Yeah, I think it was a W podcast. If you like it, subscribe. Uh, go subscribe to his YouTube channel, Galaxy Dumpling. Um, yep. And if you want to watch me live, the- Galaxy Dumpling Live. Galaxy Dumpling Live. If you want to watch them, subscribe to me, Thing Eighty, Thing T H, just regular Thing, and then an Eight, and then a T Y. I'm probably gonna have to make that lesson. Oh my god. I'm probably gonna change that name soon, but. Anyways, thanks for watching the first ever podcast. Uh, let's see if he scores a touchdown on the strap. We're, we're going to end it. He won't. That was so pass that interference. Was that is BPI. <laughs> let's see if he goes for it. Talk it in the stream already. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. It's been a lot of fun. Have a good night. Um, And fuck Bama. Yes, sir. Yeah.